In this study, we aim at tackling the challenges faced by plant water suppliers, that is the widespread distribution and the remote maintenance of plant wars. Regular management of plant wars is quite time-consuming and costly. It is also limited by geography, as suppliers cannot serve all the plant wars worldwide. Thus, we propose a remote management and monitoring solution based on Internet of Things and the public cloud platform. Availability, reliability, and availability. In our system, uh, it is comp consists of two parts, a local unit and a cloud unit. The local control unit is deployed directly into the plant walls. A, a couple of sensors are installed and connected to the controller and collect indoor climate data, such as temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, as many as eight different uh, gases concentrations, particulate matter, and the water level in the tank. The sensor data are continuously transmitted to the cloud, day and night, for monitoring purpose. The actuators, that is to say a pump, the fans, and the lamps are also controlled by the central controller, according to predefined scheduled time. For the cloud part, we take full advantage of Azure Cloud Platform, and in the future, when we get a lot of data saved in the database, we can easily integrate machine learning module into our cloud part to perform data analysis. So finally, we can realize a fully autonomous and adaptive maintenance of the plant walls. In this way, our solution contributes to a green indoor climate. Our company has been working with interior landscaping for more than 25 years because we love plants. But plants also have very important functions. They clean the air and improve the air quality indoor. From previous research, we have shown that active plant walls are more than 10 times more efficient than passive normal plant walls. With this new advanced control and uh, surveillance system, we will, be, we will be able to optimize the functions of the active plant wall. This project has been financially supported by the Swedish Environmental Protection Agency and the municipality of Norrköping. I take this chance to thank them.